Does being a victim of sex trafficking or sex trauma make you holy and sacred and your wounds holy and sacred? Well, one group would like you to believe so. CBE International speaks on this. A recent gathering says that this is a sacred calling and sacred wounds at the hand of sinners. I understand the desire, but you just, you go too far here. To say that suffering sin is sacred, to say that suffering abuse is sacred, think this through. I, I understand the desire. You want to help women. You want to help those who have been victimized and abused. You want to give them motivation. But to say that sexual wounds are sacred is something God does not do. To say that those who abuse you and now you have a different calling in life is sacred, you've gone too far. This is what the devil does. He takes God's word and he twists it. He makes things that are evil, trying to make them sacred. And here again, well-meaning people trying to motivate, trying to help. When you take evil and try to make it sacred, you just make evil more evil. I understand the desire, but we cannot change evil into sacred things. We're not God. No one said, if we want to look for what is sacred the way he speaks of it, Psalm 87. He has set his foundation on the holy mountain. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all of the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. God makes things holy, evil things, through the suffering and death of his son, through the forgiveness of all of our sins. So setting aside places where we can gather and worship, you and I who have been sinned against, you and I who have been hurt, we cannot make ourselves holy. God makes us holy, sets us apart for real life, takes what was sinful and gives us sacred blessings, his body and blood for the forgiveness of sins, his blessing of baptism, washing us away, claiming us as his children. This is true sacredness, a gift of God. Not to change sin myself, but to pay for sin at the cross and give you new life and a new hope. This is truly motivational because it is God's gift, not your own creation.